Hey everyone, welcome back and in this video I want to announce and showcase you and walk you through one of the biggest feature releases which we have done on Codam so far and that is the ability for you to collaborate with other people. If you're new here, make sure you leave a like, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon. This is free of cost and helps the channel grow. So I'm going to go ahead and showcase you what this thing is first and then I'm going to walk you through how it exactly works. I'm going to go ahead and create a React playground. I'm going to say my first collaborative playground i'm gonna create a snippet now of course i need to be logged in for this if you have been using code damn playgrounds you know this interface is quite different this does not used to be there right now what i have done is that i've created a public playground and i've initialized it with a react project once i do that you're gonna see that on the right i have the nice react output and input and so on and i can modify the code it will just work as you would expect it to work on a local server however things get interesting because this is a public playground i can make this a private playground but because this is a public playground right now i can go ahead and as a user send this link to my friend who wants to code with me maybe you guys are working together maybe you guys are learning together you are on a single journey you want to build a project together you can create a playground and send your friend a link Let's say your friend uses some other browser, some other computer, Safari, he's sitting across the world, doesn't matter. The moment your friend, let me actually open Safari Incognito, the moment your, your friend opens the playground link, they will also be booted into the same playground environment as you. So what this does is that now you two are actually working on the same playground. So if I go to app.jsx, I can start working as that user. So I can change this maybe to my own function and you can see it gets reflected in my area also. I can change this to my own function as we'll keep on working. I can say, hello, this is your second friend. And at the same time, you can also say, hi friend. And you're gonna see that anything and everything you do would automatically start reflecting according to whatever changes are happening. After a quick refresh, your preview also starts working. Now you can start making changes. It will start reflecting over here. And of course, in your editor, you can do changes in multiple files across multiple things. You can have something like, I don't know, you can open index.css as user one. I can keep on working on my own file. I can change, let's say I name this Calipri and that changes my font, that changes your font. So it's, it's a nice way to build projects together, right? So the way we did this, the way we built this collaborative functionality, and you can see that one final thing, you can see I'm listed here as a collaborator, right? You know, this is my primary account and this is the anonymous user. So for me, in my primary account, I'm seeing an anonymous user joined in because I used incognito for this. I can open this as another user. And then if I, let's say, if I open this in incognito window, then you're gonna see that we have another person with us who's joining in. So you can have a bunch of friends. It's not just limited to two people. You can have a bunch of friends and all of you can work together on a single project in a single playground collaboratively live and in real time how cool is that so the way we did this feature the way this feature was built is using something known as operational transformation operational transformation is a set of techniques and algorithm which help you or help multiple people work on a single document in a non overwriting fashion right so right now you can see i can write something here I can write something here. I can write again in the, in the let's say Safari client, in the new incognito tab client also. I can write something around app.jsx, something around here. And none of these changes overwrite the other people's changes, right? In fact, they properly sync and collaborate with each other. So this technique is known as operational transformation. And this is successfully implemented now in the code damp playgrounds area, right? So this means that now you can go ahead and create a playground, send the links to other and collaboratively work with people on a single playground, build projects, prepare for hackathons, prepare for competitions. I don't know, the opportunities are endless. Maybe you have your semester exams coming up and you want to a Node.js practical or I don't know, a Python practical. You can just go ahead and start working with collaborative 
functionalities, it will just work out of the box. Of course, we'll keep on improving it. Of course, it will keep on getting better and better over time. This is just the V1. I would love for you to try this out, build some projects with your friends and share the links with me. I'll share them on my social profiles as well. Another thing which is very interesting about this is that your terminals are mirrored. That means whatever you guys are working on the terminal can be worked or can be made collaborative as well. So let's say if I am trying to do a control C over here and if I write LS, you can see other people are actually able to do the same thing or able to replicate the same thing. So I can say over here echo, oops, echo hello from a friend. Not only your editors are synced, but your terminals are also synced. So that is again, this is a super cool way to code. Okay, so that's all for this video. Hopefully you like this collaborative editing feature. Let me know what you think about this. Leave a comment and I'll post the best playground collaborative links on my social media profile. Make sure you leave a like. Send this video to a friend if you like this feature. I'm going to see you in the next one really soon. If you're still watching this video, make sure you comment down in the comment section. I watched this video till the end. Also, if you're not part of CodeDamp's Discord community, you're missing out a lot on events which we organize on a weekly basis to code. You already know the drill. Make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and thank you so much for watching.